Ah, this is so nice. I can't tell you how good it is to be here alone. Just the two of us, finally, you and me. <clears throat> good evening. Oh, my name is Mater, and I'll be your waiter. <laughs> Mater the waiter. That's funny right there. Well, Mater, you work here? Well, yeah, I work here. Well, what would you think? I'd just knock in here when nobody was looking and pretended to be your waiter just so I could hang out with you? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> how ridiculous would that be? Now, can I start you two lovebirds off with a couple drinks? Yes, I'll have my usual. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm going to have that, too. Uh... Right, your usual. <laughs> Thanks, man. Wait up. What's McQueen's usual? Come faccio saperlo. Perfect. Give me two of them. Quiet! My program's on! Tonight on the Mel Dorado Show. His story gripped the world. Oil billionaire Miles Axelrod. In an attempt to become the first car to circumnavigate the globe without GPS, ironically ran out of gas and found himself trapped in the wild. Feared dead, he emerged 36 days later. Running out of fuel, he distilled himself from the natural elements. Since then, he sold his oil fortune, converted himself from a gas guzzler into an electric car, and has devoted his life to find a renewable clean burning fuel. Now he claims to have done it with his all in all. And to show the world what his new super fuel can do, he's created a racing competition like no other, inviting the greatest champions from around the globe to battle in the first ever World Grand Prix. Welcome, Sir Miles Axelrod. Thank you, Mel. It is very, very good to be here. Now listen to me, big oil. It costs a fortune. Pollution is getting worse. I mean, come on, it's a fossil fuel. Fossil, as in dead dinosaurs. And we all know what happened to them. Alternative energy is the future. Trust me, Mel, after seeing All in All in action at the World Grand Prix, nobody will ever go back to gasoline again. What happened to the dinosaurs now? And on satellite, a World Grand Prix competitor and one of the fastest cars in the world, Francesco Bernoulli. It is an honor, Signore Dorado, for you. Miles, why not invite Lightning McQueen? Of huh? course we what? invited him, but apparently after his very long racing season, he is taking some time off to rest. The Lightning McQueen would not have a chance against Francesco. Huh. I can go over 300 kilometers an hour. I I Miles, that is like, uh, it's way faster than McQueen. Let's go to the phones. Baltimore, Maryland, you're on the air. Am I on? Hello? You're on. Go ahead. Hello? Go ahead, caller. Let's go to Radiator Springs. You're on, caller. Yeah, that Italian fella you got on there can't talk that way about Lightning McQueen. He's the bestest race car in the whole wide world. Uh-oh. If he is, uh, how you say, uh, the bestest race car, then why must he rest, huh? Because he knows what's important. Every now and then, he prefers just to slow down. Enjoy life. Ah, you heard it. Lightning McQueen prefers to be slow. Of course, this is not news to Francesco. When I want to go to sleep, I watch one of his races. After two laps, I am out cold. That ain't what I meant. Hey, what's going on over there? He is afraid of a Francesco. This is a... Yeah, that's that Italian formula car. His name is... Francesco Bernoulli. No wonder there's a crowd. Wait, why do you know his name? I don't say it like that. It's three syllables, not ten. What? He's nice to look at, you know, open-wheeled and all. What's wrong with fenders? Nothing. I thought you liked my fender. Let me tell you something else there, Mr. San Francisco. Mater? McQueen could drive circles around you. Driving in the circles is all he can do, no? No, I mean, yes. I mean, he could beat you anywhere, anytime, any track. Mel, can we move on? Francesco needs a caller who can provide a little more intellectual stimulation, like a dump truck. <laughs> that shows what you know. Dump trucks is dumb. Hey! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, hi, this is Lightning McQueen. The Lightning McQueen, huh? Look, I don't appreciate my best friend being insulted like that. McQueen, that was your best friend, oh. This is the difference between you and Francesco. Francesco knows how good he is. He does not need to surround himself with tow trucks to prove it. Yeah, those are strong words from a car that is so fragile. Fragile! It goes a Francesco! Fragile! Not so fast, McQueen! Not so fast? What is that, your new motto? Motto! Questo è il primo volto che vado su questo programma ridicolo! Well, this sounds like something that needs to be settled on the race course. What do you say, Lightning McQueen? We still got room for one more racer. Well, I would love to. The only thing is, my crew's off for the season, so... <laughs> Beat stop. You know what? They just got back. Deal me in, baby. Ka-chow! Yeah! <laughs>
I know, I know. I just got back, but we won't oh, be long. No, don't worry about me. I mean, I've got enough to do here. Mater's gonna have a blast, though. So. You're bringing Mater, right? You never bring him to any of your races. Just let him sit in the pits, give him a headset. Come on, it'll be the thrill of a lifetime for him. Your drink, sir. Mater. I didn't taste it. How'd you like to come and see the world with me? You mean it? Yeah, you got me into this thing. You're coming along. All right.